Hi, thank you for joining me on Wilderness with Amani. I wasn't sure where to go today. It, it's snowing in the mountains. It was snowing last night in Reno. And I got up this morning and I almost was this close to just jumping in my car and driving south down the eastern Sierra because it didn't look like the weather was as bad down there. But I calmed down. I controlled myself. And I just drove out east and I'm just going to fish the Truckee River in Nevada out of the USA Parkway. And I'm at the Ranch 102 Restoration Project site, an extension of the Tahoe Pyramid Trail. And I usually go down and start fishing to the right. I'm going to head up towards the bridge. So I'm going to go out, I'm going to head left, see what the river looks like. Uh, the last couple times I've come out here, there's been a lot of green stuff that got washed off the rocks floating in the river. Makes it really hard to fish. So I'm going to go down, go left, then I'm going to go right, and then there's another parking spot down there. I might even try that and start fishing down near the power plant. But I'm not sure. i got to go in and test the waters first. I have no idea what I'm doing. There's no plan. A lot of the times on my channel, the planning phase is very, very short. And a lot of times I just react to the weather like a lizard that's like reacting to the warming sun. So I'm going to go down there now. Let's see if we can have some fun on the river today, catch some fish. I'm looking for something to get in my net, something nice. At this access point, you got to walk around these big ponds, but it's easy, especially now that they cleared a lot of brush. I can see a lot of stuff is growing back, though. So even though it's May 9th today, I think, it's a high of 45. It snowed in Reno last night. And it's snowing in the mountains for the next two days. So we're just going to have to see how this plays out. The water's a little stained, but it's not too bad. So let's just see if we can pick something up. I'm going to start fishing upstream to downstream, trying to run this thing deep without getting snagged. There's a lot more sticks and stuff in the water out this way. Oh, this slower moving featureless stuff isn't really my game for jigs. I like to work this water right along the edge of the river. And I'll soft toss up, I'm pitch casting, I'm doing whatever I can to just ride this right over some of these branches. Because a lot of times there's fish just chilling really close to shore. And then I'll throw my jig out cross current and skip that along the bottom. And I'm, I'm, I'm over, I'm just walking over a lot of water because this just... This isn't really how I do good in, in water that's just featureless. I got some good white water down there I want to fish the bottom of and the area right above it. But you know, you never know where the big one's going to be, so you got to cast anyway. So I'm under the freeway. There, the freeway you exit right there, and then you go under it and over this bridge, and that's how you get to the trailhead. And I don't, this is a really easy area to fish. I've never caught a fish here in like five or six times out here I've tried. So I don't know. I just had one follow it just above the bridge, but it was only like a 12 incher. It wasn't anything too good, but this is a really good looking stretch of water. I just fell hard and busted my reel like 30 minutes into fishing. So I gotta go drive home. Get one of my Lake Tahoe reels, put some six pound test on that. I'm not done fishing today. It's too early to, to give up. So dies the legacy of the, of my old Shakespeare. Just uh, when I'm falling and I'm climbing over stuff like this and I start to go down, I just let my, I just let my uh, tackle go. I don't, I just throw my rod and whatever happens, happens. And in this occasion, that's what happened. My reel broke 
but my bones are okay. So let's go back and let's get another reel. So now I'm at Rock Park in Sparks at the Truckee. And I'm just gonna work my way downstream from here. I'm gonna fish the pools here. And I just picked up this little reel for 21 bucks. I pulled the crappy line off of it, and put the new line that I had on my other reel on it. This'll do. It seems to have a decent drag. That's all I need. It is what it is. We're gonna get some fishing in. Let's get back to it. And the reason I came here is because this is five minutes away from the Walmart right up the street where I bought this reel and I just don't have a lot of time. I can already see the water's a lot higher than any of the other two times I fished here. But you know, we'll figure it out. And it looks like there's a scooter in the water. So, and it's snowing. There's snowflakes falling right now. And it was hailing really hard when I went into Walmart. But this is manageable, so let's do some fishing. Weather's getting rough. It's starting to hail again. It's a mix between hail and snow. See, it is ugly right here. And this is, this is grim. My car isn't coming to me, so I gotta just walk through it. I'm gonna get in my car, and I'm gonna go east and see if I can't get out. Because sometimes when you drive east enough, the, the clouds start to break up a bit because it's more into that rain shadow dry area. But this is horrible right here. <laughs> so I've gone out east, I'm at the East Mustang Bridge. I've just been through too much today not to catch something, so I'm, I mean, everything's on the table. McCarran Ranch, Lockwood, it's all on the table. I just wanna catch something. I don't even care if it's big at this point. And I never do good in this slow water, but I just, I need to make a few casts. <laughs> This has just been a really trying day. And so we'll see if I can pull something out of here. So I'm just gonna try to fish deep and fast. I never catch anything up by the bridge though. But it doesn't mean I can't try cause you never know. You could get that one moment where the fish just sees it go by and hits it. So you just gotta try. I'm trying to break through and get as much of this stuff close to the bank as I can. See if there's anything just hanging out next to these bushes because I've hit some nice fish doing this. So now that the sun's out, all these layers I put on aren't feeling so good. I gotta have to strip down a little bit. This water looks really good. It's clear too. It doesn't look great, but it's a lot clearer than the water was downstream and a lot clearer than the water was at uh, Rock Park for whatever reason. All right, it's starting to snow again, so I think I need to go to my car and go down the other side of the river so I don't have to be so far from my car because this snow just sucks, man. And it's not as bad as it was, but it's still snowing, and I don't want to get caught a mile from my car and not be able to to come back without getting just drenched. I'm casting from the other side now and I just had a real nice fish follow my lure right into this shallow stuff. And he's turned and swam away really fast. I think I spooked him, but that was a heart stopper. <laughs> Man, it's snowing again and I'm pretty far from the car, but I'm not too far. I think I gotta beeline it back. I should have left when I said I was because now it's snowing harder. I gotta go. <laughs> well, this is the Alamo <laughs> at the Lockwood Regional Park. I'm just gonna give this a little while, couple, maybe an hour or so and see if I can't pick something up. I've had tough going. The weather, the reel, it's all sucked. Let's see if I can't salvage this day. A lot of good looking water in this park. It's kind of high, so I'm not reaching it that good with my range, but I'm just trying to rip it across. There's a lot of sticks in the water. I'm wondering if I can go on that road on the other side, because the other side is the side you really want to fish right here. But I'm not worrying about that at this moment. I'm just gonna keep on battling. Got a fish. 
on the line. He came up out of that fast water and just nailed it. And he's already jumped a couple times. This has been a long day. That's a nice fish. It's a big brown. I don't want him to jump anymore. There he is. Got him in the net. A lot of adversity today. There he is in the net. That's a big boy. All right, he's ready to go. Hands are wet. Let's hold him up. That's a nice brown trout right there. Woo, that's a good brown. Let's get him back out there. There he goes. Oh, what a day. I'm gonna fish a little bit more before I call it though. But I got him, I cast it out into that white water and I was reeling it in fast because the current's really moving and he chased it right into this slack stuff and just nailed it. I held up at the Alamo. I should just call it a day. I had the big win, I got that nice fish and I think I got a little bit more fishing left in me. It's almost, it's almost like the fishing gods are messing with my mind because I was just getting ready to quit and I got like the first hit since I caught that fish, which was the only hit I've gotten all day. And right when I'm about to quit, oh, right when I'm about to quit, I get a bite. I mean, it was a legit bite. Something smacked my jig. And now I don't know if I can quit. That's gonna do it. I gotta get home and get some dinner going. I, it's gonna snow tomorrow and I gotta figure out where I'm gonna fish for Patreon because it's gonna be ugly again. But man, when I broke my reel a half hour in, I, I was like, I didn't start till nine. It was only like 9.45. So I'm like, all right, I'll go buy that reel. This $21 reel got broken in with a real nice brown. And common sense said to quit, but I didn't quit. And I caught that fish, so I was right. I was right to keep fishing. <laughs> I gotta calm down on that. Now, it was just, after I saw that one, I saw really nice fish about that size follow my jig into the shallow water at Mustang and when it swam away, because I wasn't getting any hits, I saw one fish early at, at USA Parkway, and then I had to leave to go buy that reel. And then when the snow started coming down, I almost gave up then, but if there's any kids watching, persistence sometimes <laughs> pays off. So I hope you enjoyed all the adversity and the battling and the snow today. I'm going home. I got a nice fish in the net. I'm feeling good. Thank you for joining me on Wooden This with Amani. Until next time.